up next, a matchup for the UFC Bantamweight Division title. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so the fight is underway. We'll see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight for the Las Vegas. Really hard to think of a weakness that we've seen on film from either guy's in the UFC career so far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. And they both stand up. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. It's 90 seconds to go in the opening now round. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. He's going to attack on bar here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Oh, that was a violent tap there, so he submits him with the arm bar. I mean, just steps ahead of the competition where you're playing checkers, he's playing chess in the ground fighting. And it showed tonight in this big submission victory. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that is some high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu right there. Just the way he transitioned to secure the arm up against his body and ultimately force the tap. High-level stuff out of that young man here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines will stop in this contest at four minutes, 10 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an on bar. And new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world. So there he is, the new king of the Bantamweights. Big result here tonight as he submits the previous champion emphatically to become the new king in the Bantamweight division. The celebration is on in the corner, and that is not a celebration that's going to be stopping anytime soon. There is a new Bantamweight champion. Congratulations.